Hey guys, it's Kiki. Uh, long time no see. Yes, and there's my cat. Anyway, um, this week we're doing naked vlogging. Yay! Um, I've actually done this before. This is this is how I did my audition video for the channel. Uh, because a year ago my air conditioning went out and it was August or July in Texas, West Texas, hot as an emmepper. So um, pretty much the only way I could survive was being naked and taking copious amounts of showers. <laughs> so uh, yes, I've done this before. How do I feel? It's not a big deal. I don't think so. I mean, I think it has to do a lot with the fact that um, I, I, I get naked anyway. I mean, that's the first thing I do when I get home. Um, if my brother's home, I live with my brother, my youngest brother lives with me. And if my brother's home, I'll probably change into something very comfortable. But if he's not, the first thing I do when I get home from work is get naked. And I stay that way. And if I, even if he's home, if I go to my room to watch TV or to read, I get naked. It's just how I am I I would live naked if I if I just if I lived with someone that I was in a relationship with or if I was living with someone that I was comfortable being naked around um, and there are a few uh, I would get naked the moment I came home and never put <laughs> wooden clothes on unless I had to leave or somebody was coming over that I had to put clothes on um, my cat needs attention apparently anyway um, so I'm not nervous about this I'm not upset about this and I didn't tell I just showered because, yes. Um, I think if it were something where I was showing more of my body, like, uh, I don't know if any of you people, any, any of you, I don't know if any of you follow um, Heart here on the YouTubes um, uh, under the username Heartbeat. Fabulous, awesome person. And she's done videos where she's wearing like, a watermelon bra and uh, where she's been completely naked and just had black bars and then there was the one that y'all were talking about that I've actually not seen where the, the girl was just wearing like paper over her naughty bits I I don't think I could do that I, I don't think I could like this cuz all you're seeing I mean I could be wearing a tube top for all you know or a bikini top or something um, I'm not but you that, I mean I'm not really showing that much um, and I'm not going to do like Jen did because I have to drop my phone because I'm holding my phone. I have nothing to put my phone on. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, this is not that upsetting for me. I think if it were something where I was showing more of my body. Though I will say, there are pictures of my tits online. There are. <laughs> uh, and I still to this day can't believe I did that. But anyway, uh, yes. I would like to get to the point where I'm more comfortable with my body being shown to, I mean, not like I want to, you know, post nudes on the web or something like that, but being able to show more of my body. Um, I'm pretty good from like breasts up, <laughs> but uh, the rest of me, not so much. Anyway. One thing I did want to talk about a little bit was the fact that I've been in my A for about over a month and I kind of not so much explained because I'm not going to go into detail and I also I already put a warning up before this but some of some of the things I'm not going to go into detail but some of the things may be triggering to some people depending on their history so just keep that in mind um, I contemplated leaving the channel because for the last month or so I've been going through uh, dealing with a past trauma um, specifically a sexual assault, and it's been really hard. And I thought maybe I need to take a break from this because I can't take a break from like my work and things like that, but I could take maybe take a break from other things. But I find talking on this channel and talking to the people very cathartic, and it, one of the things that's really helped me in the last couple of years it has been vlogging. So I am going to continue on. I will do my best to make sure I get these done. As you can tell, I'm late, and that has a lot to do with this weekend's just not been a very nice weekend for me. Um, also, on a funny note, um, I learned that if you if you call the Rape Crisis Center and hang up on them because you weren't expecting them to answer, they will call you back until you answer again. Um, so yeah, that was a interesting experience. Anyway, 
I guess that's all I had to say, and I will see you guys in two weeks.